Hey everyone, it's Sam here. I want to take you on a journey through sound and learn how to play audio on the web the standard way. Let's go. There's a few different reasons to use audio on the web, although it can be controversial. Everyone knows that feeling of that noisy tab you just can't find. But for long-form audio that's the content of your page, or to enhance the user's experience, just a sprinkling of audio can be wonderful. Let's take a look. If you drop in an audio tag on your page, setting its controls attribute, your users will get control buttons for free. Maybe you're serving a podcast. Another month, another, another month. podcast. Another podcast, yeah. But the audio tag isn't just for songs or podcasts, and you can't customize its default controls across different browsers. So if you want to have custom play or pause buttons, or even have the audio play some other time, you know, maybe as feedback when some files are finished uploading, you can look up the audio tag and call its play method. Oh look, my upload is done. There's a caveat. In modern browsers, audio won't play unless the user has interacted with the page. In the file upload example from before, the user has interacted with the page by dragging files, so your audio will play no matter what. But if you're building, say, a chat app, and a user gets a message before they click on or use a new tab, a notification sound won't play. If you're not sure whether your user has interacted with the page, we can check the return value of the play method on the audio tag. If there's no result, audio will always play, this is the behavior of older browsers. But otherwise, check the return promise for a DOM exception of type not allowed error. And maybe instead of playing audio, you could flash the title bar or do something else loud but visual. You can also create a new audio directly in JavaScript if you're playing sound from code. We can then clone this audio file and play it many times, which lets us layer the same sound. This is really useful for rapid fire effects. We've only just scratched the surface of audio on the web. There's also the Web Audio API, which is a much more complicated API that's used for games or where you want complex audio effects. Check out some resources below. Remember, use the audio element for podcasts, music, and such. But if your audio isn't in response to a user action, like a click to play, be sure to check whether the audio has played at all. And finally, you can also use the audio object in JavaScript to play layered sounds. That's playing audio the standard way. See you on the next tip.